With every landing, an aircraft leaves a little something behind. Tire rubber. Over time, rubber buildup can reduce a runway's friction characteristics and, in wet conditions, create a potential for hydroplaning and risk to aircraft and crew. The Air Force Civil Engineer Center and the Air Force Research Lab at Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida, have developed, tested, and are deploying specialized equipment to give air bases across Southwest Asia the capability to perform rubber removal on their runways. Because in a lot of cases, the equipment that is used for rubber removal on airfields is too large to stick on a C-130 and be air deployable. This particular equipment is air deployable by C-130, which is what makes it especially unique. Once in theater, the capability to transport the rubber removal equipment on the more common C-130, as well as other aircraft, makes it easier for CEs to efficiently support contingency airfields. AFKEC is sending two different rubber removal systems to the AOR by way of a C-17. The first is detergent-based and uses two Bobcat toolcats with spray systems and kick brooms to loosen and remove rubber debris. The toolcats can be used independently at different locations or simultaneously at one to speed up the process and get more coverage on an airfield. The team is also deploying an ultra-high-pressure water system built on a customized Unimog vehicle. The Unimog has a cab that collapses and a detachable windshield allowing it to fit in the cargo confines of smaller transport aircraft. Both systems will help CE sustain contingency runways and return them to service as quickly as possible. Team members from AFKEC and AFRL will train airmen on the equipment and rubber removal procedure. I feel this capability is something the Air Force needs in a contingency environment. With it, the Air Force can perform airfield rubber removal at a fraction of the cost of contracting the same work out making it a very, very flexible option for combatant commanders overseas.